Poppy X here live, A3C 2012 Hip Hop Festival. Kicking it with Tech Nine and Chris Calico. Strange okay. music. Yes, sir. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Yeah. How you doing? We're just in New York from not so long ago, drinking at like three or four in the morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you guys put me on to my first KZT. Yeah, KZT. KZT, you know what I'm KZT man. Kansas City tea, man. That is, it, it is awesome. Hennessy awesome. Sprite and Lemon. Yeah. I don't think I had one last night. I'm, I'm hanging over from last night, but I can't remember what I had last yeah. night. You guys enjoying A3C? Oh, totally, man. Yeah. Totally. What would you check out last night? I didn't get to check out anybody. Right? I got too drunk. Oh, yeah, no, no, I did. I did. Killer Mike. Uh, Killer Mike, yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, released, you released a great album this year. Yeah, yeah. the rap music, right? This feels like a. Uh, it, 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 this is a huge year for strange music. Yes, it is. Uh, is this a banner year for strange music? I mean, when you start looking at uh, 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 critically acclaimed project from Prince, Mayday, Seth Crew released a super strong mixtape. Stevie Stone. Yeah. How does it compare to you know other years that? Guys doing this. Well, this is the, this is the most music we've ever dropped in a year. You know what I'm saying? The roster has gotten humongous since uh, my last solo album. You know what I mean? Uh, we just signed Seth Cruz, Stevie Stone, like you said. Ritz, you know, right? Ritz. You know what I mean? So it's like this is gonna be the most music we ever put out, man. In Tech Nine, you know, I just dropped an EP September 18th. Um, uh, Viva. And um, for Halloween, I'm dropping a darker side of Eva. It's called um, Boiling Point. So it's a lot of music, and I'm working on my new album as we speak. So, uh, we got a lot. Chris Calico is working on what? Working on that mind. Yeah, he's working on a, a EP. My EP, man. It's, it's called, called Nevermind. Nevermind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Y'all get it? Nevermind. Right, right. When's that EP coming? When, when's that it comes out November the thirteenth. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big year. I mean, it's been a big year already. You know what I'm saying? But years in, it's gonna be even bigger. You know what I mean? At the beginning, you know what I'm saying? It's more Tech Nine, you know saying? more Mayday, more everything, more strange music. Ritz, man, we got Ritz. Ritz, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing, it's some American kind of thing, right? Yeah, man. You know, I mean, he's a he's a, another yeah. double time MC, man. He's yeah. a real, real poignant, poignant storyteller. Yeah, he is, man. Like, you feel him when you listen to him. Yeah, I went to a couple of his shows last year, man, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was thrilled to know that he wanted to come where we were. You know, he like our work, he like our tour. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something you scout when you're looking at new artists? Oh, yeah. Like yeah, how, yeah. how are they live? How are they on stage? They have to be able to do it live. You know what I'm saying? That's what we pride ourselves on doing. You know what I'm saying? We built the whole thing off of yeah. good music and good live performance. Well, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> good music and a good live performance. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's how we even you know built this whole thing. So yeah. we can't let you take it down. You got to be just as good. Right. Like, like we took Bro Lynch on tour. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be able to not just do it in the studio. Studio tricks. You got to be able to do this. And that's what I look for. You know, so I go see MCs at their show. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I went to go see JL perform, and I'm like, yeah, that was something that's on my head. You get JL down with us. You know what I mean? Same thing with Seth's crew. I was, I went to a, a Mac, Mac Lethal show, I think, and they were performing, and I saw them do something incredible. You know what I'm saying? It's all, all these guys that are with me, I went to go see them at clubs. A fan, you know what I'm saying? Scouting them out, like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you come on, come on with me. And I told him, come with me, he thought I was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, okay. We spoke to Seth Sex, Sex Crew not too long ago this year, mm -hmm. and, uh, and for them, the way they described it was like, you know, they had been grinding in the Kansas City scene mm -hmm. and, and kind of rose through the ranks, and that's how, that's yeah. how you, you caught their eyes. Totally. Are yeah, you proud of those guys? Is there a, oh, is there a personal kind of feeling when you look at yes. everything they've done over the past 10 years and where they are now? I love it, man, because they never stopped doing what they're doing. All I, all I said, I just want to accent what you I just want to actually make it bigger than what it is. That's my job. Yeah. Get more people on it, you know what I mean? And to see them and they're still good, even better than what they were. Everybody just keeps elevating, elevating, elevating. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait to get them on tour with me. You know what I mean? It's coming. How do you manage uh, the growth of Strange Music, right? Like, you just mentioned that this, you put out more music this year yeah. than you have. So the organization has to be moving at a pace that it, it maybe it hasn't done before. You, you, hire more people. Guys, you hire more people. Yeah, we keep hiring people. Yeah. It's like some people working there I don't really know now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm Travis did it the other day. I said, hey, man, what's the lady? 
back with the merchandise related to Brown Air. He said, uh, I said, yeah. Do you hire? He said, Yeah, uh, I don't know her name. I'm like, wow, it's got that big. Yeah, it's getting bigger, man. But, you know, we we just expanded and we got another building now. You know what I'm saying? We bought another building. Yeah. And it's going to be Strange Land Studios. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be yeah. amazing. Yeah. And girls are looking at us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, man, we're expanding, man, and, you know, um, we're moving the video, the video crew down into the new building real soon. We're expanding still, you know, we need more space. I don't think we've ever outgrown the head I don't think we would ever outgrow Travis's basement. Yeah. <laughs> it's being Travis' basement. Yeah, started in Travis' basement. Growing rapidly, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm still scouting. You know what I'm, saying? I'm still looking for beautiful music. People who make beautiful music. We're always on the road, showing our beautiful music all over the globe. You know what I mean? Like, that's a dream I had a long time ago, and I told him, I don't want you to get on the album with me and do like all the songs with me. He thought I was lying. I made it happen. And now he's still doing all the songs. You know, that's, how a, tall, that's a tall order, though. Just think, if you got somebody that says who's already like a super popular, like especially in Kansas City super popular artist and says, hey man, I want you to do my whole album with me. That sounds like a lie. <laughs> right, yeah. That sounds like, yeah, right. whatever, dog. Yeah. And I here mean, we are, still like, this, that was 12 years ago. Yeah, but when you're that talented though, somebody else, either you're gonna be jealous of that talent, mm -hmm. or you're gonna want it with you. Right. I want all the hardest artists with me. That's right. You know, I go out, I go out and scope the hardest one. Let's go. You know, so we do songs with them too. We do songs with Buster Rhymes. We do songs with Twister. We do songs with Yellow Wolf. You know, we do songs with a lot of other MC with Real B. You know what I'm saying? Hobson, you know what I mean? We out there. We want all the hardest MCs on our team. And so far, we're going to do it. And especially strange music. Wait till we do our cycle. Can you imagine that, man? Can you imagine that? Brother Lynch Hong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tech Nine. Chris Calico. Yeah. Calhoun. Um, Maydeck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ritz. You know what I mean? I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing a lot. Seth Cruz, Steve Stone. Seth Cruz, right? Stevie Stone. Pearl that. You know what I'm saying? It's like big school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to find Scooby, though, to get in this life. <laughs> you know, I... You know, I I was so impressed, and this is my first time checking uh, uh, the Strange tour, getting to see you guys rock live. And I listened to the records, and you know, the, just the emphasis you guys put on rapping good, right? Like you know, on, on, on what you're saying, but also how you're saying it. You know, coming up with different, different uh, patterns and such. What, 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 what struck me was how well you guys performed those songs. Oh yeah, right. But I wonder though, like you just, when you're doing double time stuff, like, what's the line that you? What's the line of yours that preach of you that you tend to mess up before oh. you tend to fill <laughs> I already I already know what he goes like. It's Midwest Chopper. Midwest right? Chopper. Yeah, man, the it. hardest you have to be elite to do this, man. You know what I'm saying? And get it across live. Any of the choppers. Follow me, all around the planet, around the game, I know psychology, they can never manage you damage with no apology. Pick them off the panic a little minute, cause they gotta be fine, I'm a gemic, cause I'm a nonity. <clears throat> The track, like I'm really hitting my mind, it's like a pop, it's a pop, it's a pop. You know, I gotta do that perfect every night. Right. Sometimes you can get a tongue tie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they're saying it with you. And if you're looking at the crowd, it's the weird thing, weirdest thing. You're looking at the crowd, they're saying the wrong words. You can throw yeah, you up. Okay, right. right. I'm trying to look. Yeah, like I'm, I, I gotta close my eyes because the girls are trying to say, yeah, like, follow me, I'll run the planet, I'll run the planet. They miss words and they're like, don't look at me. <laughs> look at me, but I won't look at you. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what would you say? What would you say, Chris? What, what, what's up? I say, and I, you know what? It's funny because I worry about it every night. It's a song I got called Spaz. Yeah. The dubstep, but I say, um, Babble the Batter didn't happen, you rappers are. Spit like the job. Trapping the traffic and pattern, but you niggas start thinking I'm up on Saturn. But it's like, and it ain't even that fast, but Babble the Batter didn't happen, you rappers are. It's like, it's like, you can get a I'm thinking I'm going to say something backwards. Backwards. Uh, yeah. And actually, I have on, uh, Kill, on Killish. I don't, I don't know if we can get some cards on here, that's right. But, um... You can see it in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. There's porn on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't lying. But yeah, on the, on the Kill Shit song, I always... I say the lines backwards sometimes, and he's backing me up on that song, and so it'll throw him even off. Yeah. I forgot what it is. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the one part. It's the one that when you say, uh... It's in the start, 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 it
Yeah, I don't even remember how I got to be on stage. Right? <laughs> but it's, but it's, but I'm saying it's like, but it's like I say sometimes, like sitting in the star seat, I get to kill him softly, or give him a car keys, or like I don't know. Yeah, that's right. a lot of words, yeah. especially when you like jumping and like you said, somebody saying the words, and they're like. And some people, some people are in the front row and they feel like they should know the words, so they're not saying nothing. They're just going. I'm gonna tell you the hardest part for me. The hardest part for me. I'm doing worldwide choppers, and I get down on one knee. So the crowd is right here. I'm right there by their head. So I, when, I, when I go, um, what's that part when I'm doing this, Chris? I forgot, what it I forgot what it is, but I can hear people, hear the girls and everybody uh, saying it, yeah. and it's, it'll throw me off. I'm gonna try to block them out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, if you want anybody to you know this, take a look at the identical symbols, the logo, the color, the logo, the color, 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 Travis, who's our CEO, he says, hey man, make sure you guys are like prompting each other on the camera. I'm like, dude, we don't have to do that. All we literally have to do is turn on the camera. It'll be hilarious. Matter of fact, we just did a Canadian tour, and I have uh, you know, my iPhone, and you can turn the camera towards you, you know? And all I did was just, whenever I was talking to him, I just turned on the camera. And now, if we watch it right now, we'll all be in stitches, and it's just regular conversation. Yeah. I, we need a reality show. We've been needing a reality show, and people have been approaching us, but some people don't really want to do it. If we are. What's the hold up, Chad? What's the hold up? Because I don't want to. I don't want to really. They want you to do weird things on television, you know? They want you to. I don't want to be ignorant in front of kids. Yeah, sometimes they do. They want to prompt it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. It's true. I don't want to show bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like if they want to follow the tour and, you know what I'm saying, see our work ethic and everything and laugh about what we're talking about, yeah, but I ain't about to show them nothing. They want to see goofy. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. They want to, to, see, they want to see raw shit. You know what I'm saying? If it was, I ain't about to give them that. So, you know? But if it was somebody that wanted to do something and they just wanted what we got and they don't want to uh, like prompt us to do extra stuff, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't want to prompt us to do anything extra. They probably tell them, it'll be cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, they probably tell Chris, you have an argument with tech, pick a fight with tech. We don't want to do that. We like being yeah. normal, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna show ignorance to America or overseas anywhere on television. I don't now um, we yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this an important election year in your mind? You know, the the, the debates are in the windmill of, of the debates right now. <laughs> you know, we're talking it's about not well. showing, we're not showing we're talking about not showing ignorance on TV or yeah, 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 yeah. Not projecting ignorance. But. Did, did, did uh, Obama tell uh, Mitt Romney to shut the hell up? I got five more minutes. He needs to. Yeah. He needs to. <laughs> <laughs> I think he told Jim Lear that yeah. or something like that. Right? I missed it, man. I'm always in the studio. Man. Yeah. It's like I heard about. It, you know, what I mean? you know, because I live. With Maxilla, you know what I'm saying? Maxilla um, is my relative, and he's in the politics deep. Uh, and he, he, he hits me to everything because I'm always in the studio writing and recording. So I missed that debate, but I heard it was pretty funny. But I, he told me that Obama didn't win the. Yeah. Yeah. That's the time. You know, there's more coming. Yeah, no doubt. Is it important for, like, you know, I think a lot of times, like, we don't really think about. You know the, the how important it is for something like an election, or if it even is important in hip hop anymore. The same way we might have, you know, back in uh, with NWA and, and, mm -hmm. and Bomb Squad and, and Public Enemy for it, to a degree. We it's don't a, we don't get that on the radio. For it's example. important for me because of taxes. <laughs> Man. Man, I know if we got tax trouble, then, oh, these other cats got to they Bentley Benz and coops and all that. They, yeah, people are going to jail now. I man. know niggas got to have Mark, tax problems. Mark Hill going to jail. They say Mark Hill going to jail. Um, nah, it's got hit. He has to pay the tax fund. But I see it more and more. And I know we, we've had our well, issues with them that we're getting out of now. So just, I know that they... I just paid the IRS of my back. I mean, my bond. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? In three months, four hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? I ain't supposed to be talking about that. Like, don't ask me these questions. <laughs> Is this like the new, this, feel, this kind of feels like the new hip hop police, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Like in the late '90s, when all the rappers were just getting pulled over and yeah. getting yeah. Now, they're now they're all getting taxes. hit with IRS. Yeah. With taxes. But you gotta pay the tax. But I pay. You know what I'm saying? I pay. You know what I'm saying? I pay. I'm still paying, you know. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's the things of success, right? I'm not. I'm not in. I'm in. I'm not in danger of hey, going to jail. This is Saturday. I got my last payment today. 
for my back taxes yeah. today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why that's why, that's why it's important. I really don't talk about politics. You know, yeah. that's three things I don't talk about. People who start fights because of it. You know hey, what I'm saying? My politics. president is black. The Lambo's blue. <laughs> Stop the goddamn <laughs> real things or uh, not. <laughs> I don't talk about politics, whether OJ did it or not, or Tupac did it or not. You know, then starts fights. Right, right. <laughs> you didn't know who was better, Tupac or Biggie. I'm surprised you didn't know Illuminati in there. Oh, yeah. Illuminati might oh, be one of those. Illuminati, I don't care about that. Don't care about no, 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 no. I read that book years ago when I was, like, in my teens. Right. Well, no, I wasn't in my teens. I was, like, 22 or something like that. Yeah, right. yeah and being a member, they don't want us talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> They already think about me all sixes yeah. and Chris sevens. Calico. No, and they said, you know that that's what they were saying, and that's why I covered my eye up on uh, Kicking and Screaming. That, that the, the right eye covered up is now that everything is a symbol of Illuminati. Yeah. Yeah. I've got my shoe strings untied. Yeah. Illuminati, man. The way I shake people's hands. Boom. You, know, you see the handshake technique? Right. He hangs out with Masons. Uh, you know, they everything. Yeah. But I do hang out with Masons, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we hang out with Masons? Uh, yeah, hang out with Masons. Bugs. Don't, don't we hang out with Masons? <laughs> uh, Silence is compliance. No, it's one of our uh, security guys, man. Dante. What's up, Dante? You shake your hand all funny. You know? yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> He ain't hiding it. He got on a mason ring, a mason chain, yeah. and mason tattoos. Right. Yeah. Right. Mason gang. That's, that's capable security right there. Okay. Right? That's what you want. Yeah. So you guys have uh, two, uh, you have, each have an EP coming out now. You got uh, one in point. Uh, is everybody on, on Strange going to have a new project out next year? Yeah, that's going to happen. Yes, I think so. I mean, they said we're going to shoot like a hundred videos. <laughs> we had this meeting like right after we came back from Canada, Canada. and like we're going to shoot a hundred videos. And my video department was like, you know, oh, you know. What I'm saying? So we're moving on along though, man. I shot. Uh, how many did I shoot? I shot. Uh, don't tweet this. I shot Eva. Um, I want. Oh, we, we supposed to shoot Rock Your Head. You know what I'm saying? And on um, Boiling Point, I'm about to shoot my first video Monday. What? I get back. It's uh, you're lying. Oh, are you? <clears throat> yeah, we're moving, man. We're moving. We gotta, we gotta shoot some videos, man. You so gonna have to be shooting videos. You know what I'm saying? Bam! I didn't even. We're know. just working, man. We're just going, and we, and we, we don't stop. Yeah. But our work catches us, and that's the beauty of it. It catches you, and it does so well, and it's like, oh, what's in the magazine? Whoa, I'm in Forbes. Whoa, don't tell anybody that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no money. Everybody's calling me now, like, can I have some money? I'm like, God damn it, Forbes. All right, that's what hit you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Forbes, they definitely go. Of course, but they already knew. You know what I'm saying? That's why they hit me. Right, right, right. There we go. You know what I'm saying? If you owe that much money, you spend a lot more. You know So that's on me. Did your did your daughter win a homecoming play? I didn't even understand that, that, man. Damn, I'm, the voting was Thursday. Chicago, call right now. Chicago, right now. Right now. Put on speaker phone. No, because I don't want her to be crying and everybody see it. Right. Well, she Thanks said she yes, then, but it reminded me, man. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to call her mama because her mama's hitting me right now. Thank you for being real and we can do real things. I like to do real things. You know what I'm saying? There she is. Boom. I mean, if she would have won us, I would have known. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think she did. Never know. One never knows. I get nervous about the kind. Thank you for saying that. I get so in my work that I have space space off. You saw what I put up? I did, I saw the video. What's up, mama? I'm right in the middle of a you sound sad. Is everything okay? Okay, okay, I'm in I'm in the midst of an interview and they asked me something. And I needed to, I needed to, I'm, I'm gonna handle you right after I get done working, but <clears throat> did Lily win or lose? Oh, she said Thursday, okay. Next Friday? We won't know. They won't announce until the next Friday, so. Okay, thank you, I'll call you back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got, we got, we got another week, another yeah, yeah, week yeah. left to still vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Where can they vote? Where can people vote? Where can people vote? Make sure we got another week left to push this campaign. Like other people can vote. No, 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 they're going to announce it. They're going to announce it. I'm like, that's sure. <laughs> You put the video out. You know, I'm, yeah, I did. I, I, I went did. to the website. I did. But you got to be a part of our school. All right. That's a guideline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm, yeah. I'm fingers crossed. Thanks for paying attention. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Is there two things, or if there's one thing from each of you that uh, that you're excited about for, for 2013 that you haven't spoken about and people might not be aware of? Richie, what, what, what are you looking forward to? And, uh, we're working. We're working so much that I'm banking on after I finish, after my new album comes out in March. I'm banking on having. You see my 3D glasses? On yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm always styling. I'm always thinking in 3D. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The king of crown. <laughs> but uh, I'm banking on having a couple of months to go be a fan. That's my new dream. I ain't never told nobody on camera, but my new dream, my old dream, you farted. My old it's dream. My, chair. my old <laughs> My old dream. Yeah, lift it up. <laughs> right? Do it again. Okay. <laughs> what the chair? I'm glad it did it again. You usually don't do it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's your always right. My, my first dream was. Um, to take my kids all around the world, you know what I'm saying, and be on beaches, and we did it like four years straight. So they told me on the last cruise, that hey, we're done doing it, we're done to that. And I'm like, okay. So my new dream just hit me on the last tour when I was in Canada. It hit me that I want to go wherever, I want to go, if Cali Buds is playing in Jamaica, I want to go. If Citizen Cope is playing in Sweden, I want to go. If Eminem is playing in Germany, I want to go. If if um, if Prince is playing any more shows before he quits, you know what I'm saying? In Denver, I want to go. I just want to go be the fan. I want to take somebody I can sit on my face and go. You know what I'm saying? And be the fan. And, and Chris said, man, I'd rather be the man. I said, but imagine being the man and the fan. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do after this next album comes out. I hope I have a little bit of time. I don't know. But I want to take, I want to map it out. If Snoop Dogg is performing on a cruise with a Parliament Funkadelic or the Gucci Girl Band or whatever, and Art Kelly and everybody is on this boat, I want to go. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go be a fan. You know, I'm a fan of music. I just want to go. If System of a Down is playing in Turkey, I want to go. I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go show up at people's shows and love music. Man. That's what I do. So when I was in Canada, I had a couple of days off, which we never have. So I was I was able to go see Feral Mott and the Alcoholic at Manifesto in Toronto. And then in Toronto the next day I got to go see Big Crit and Slim Thug. I was there to be a fan. Everybody calls me up on stage. You know what I'm saying? And last night Killer Mike called me up on stage and I was drunk and I'm like, I'm sorry, ATL, I'm doing good. And they, ah, okay, I guess that's good. But I just want to go be the fan, man. That's why I can't wait to go to the A3C thing. I just want to go listen to music, go be. I want to be amongst normal folk. You know, I, don't, I don't really. I'm not ready to take any time off here, even though I have a you know a wife and a son, and I'll take them with me. We gotta go. Daddy gotta work, yeah. so we gonna get out here and, and, and make it. I'm gonna make it do what it does. Word up. Word up. Open Gundam stop. <laughs> Hip Hop DX. I want to go see A3, Sign Korea. C2012 Chris Calico Tech 9. Yeah. They're doing it on their own term, strange music. Yes, sir, bro. We appreciate Good it. Good to see you again. Yes, sir, man. Good to see you. KCT up tonight. KCT. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take up yeah. Totally. Mic check. Boom.